runners with weights. Okay, everyone needs their weights today. And really, that's it. We're going to start actually with a lightweight. So if you have one, we'll use it for our warm up. So when I say a lightweight, nearly like eight to 12 pounds sort of realm is good. And I am drinking tea out of my mug that says either you are beautiful or tourists are dumb, whichever. All right, let's get started here. So I have this weight. It looks giant, but actually it's very light because it's an adjustable kettlebell. So I can adjust the size. So right now it's only 12 pounds. So what I'm looking for is everyone just getting in their good posture. If you have a weight, just get it in one hand. I want you just to practice having your hand right over your elbow and that weight is not hugged in at your chest because you don't need it to be it's not that heavy but it's out and so you're bracing through your arm and through your chest we're going to take two deep breaths on this side so glutes are tight feet feel great lifting in one more all right put it down and then come right back up to that good posture so again, two deep breaths in, good. So checking your hand is over your elbow, weight is out, you're bracing. All right, and then let's get that weight into a goblet position. So it's just right here. We're just going to do some squats to balance, squat to balance. So you can, if you don't have your weight, that's totally fine. If you are in some random hotel room in the middle of the wood, whatever it is, that is great. If you've got a lightweight, you can use it. Coming down a little lower as you feel comfortable and feeling like you're warmed up. Should have said hi to Molly, I see in the background there. Hi, Molly. All right. So holding that balance for just two seconds. I haven't been holding it for very long, but let's get it there. Good. All right. Now, keeping your light weight, we are going to do a back lunge and we're gonna pass that weight under. Then we do the other side, pass that weight under. Good morning, Jill. Pass that weight. So if you don't have a weight, you can pass a pillow. If you don't have a lightweight, you can use nothing and just pass a piece of paper. Doesn't really matter. The point is that as you come for that pass, so you're coming down, you're gonna pass, but you're keeping your chest extended, not trying to come down here to grab it. So you're trying to get in that extended position. Good, we're gonna do 10 more seconds. So keep up with those back lunges. Yes, all right, and super. Put the weight down. We are going to do some walkouts, but when we get to the bottom of the walkout, I want you to do a glute lift. So we are going to do these for a little bit longer. So I'll show you. So we'll come down, walk out, blah, 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 and we're in this good plank position. We're gonna squeeze one side, squeeze the other side, and then walk it back up to tall shoulders back. So go ahead and join me, everybody, once you've got it. We're going for it. We're gonna do a little over a minute of these. Yes, when you're in that glute lift position, your back is not um, a tense shape. You're in that plank shape. So be sure as you come down, it doesn't need to be fast, but you get into that good plank, you can squeeze your glutes, then you know you're in a good plank, then go ahead and lift to each side. And really squeeze your glutes like you're trying to, I don't know, take revenge on something. You're really squeezing tight, good, and then go ahead and back. We still have 40 seconds, so you might be able to get in two or three more rounds here, trying to warm up all the muscles of our body. All right. So you know how berries are good for you, like whatever phytochemicals or antioxidants in berries. Well, I am hopped up on them right now because I went berry picking yesterday and 
The berries are so delicious right now. If you're in Oregon, go to Southeast Island and pick some. The Marion berries and the raspberries are so good. It's impossible to know, but I think I ate half the field. Three, two, one. All right. Everyone ended at the top here. Sorry, except Em, I could have saved you right there. But I forgot to say, we're going to finish at the bottom. So everyone, go ahead. We're going to get into a low plank. Join me in a low plank. Emily's like, ah. All right, low plank, everybody. And we're going to do some push-up planks. So the low plank to high plank is the push-up plank. So we start in this low position. We take one hand, push ourselves up, and come on up. Now, everyone, go ahead and start. Think about where your feet are. The closer your feet are together, the more wiggly you're going to be, or the, sorry, the more unstable you could be. And I don't want your hips wiggling all over. So imagine these push-up planks. You're holding a plate of, of raspberries. There we go. And you cannot drop them on the white carpet. Who has white carpet? Maybe Emily's hotel room. That's about it. But you get the point. You want to have those hips stable as you're doing these. So if you need to have a super wide leg stance, that's fine. So we're warming up through our arms. Our warm-ups are always a little bit harder on Fridays. It's our strength day. Challenging, you guys. Good. Just get in a couple more. We've got three, two. All right. And go ahead and have a seat. We're going to get into some 90-90 positions here. So we're going to get into this position where we can go from here to here. So if you can do it that way, if you need to come from behind, that's totally fine and have them look more windshield wiper. But if you can, let's get with her hands up and then coming up, back down, other side, and fully extend. If that feels, don't even try it if you're like, that is hurting my hips just looking at you, that's okay. You can absolutely stay here and get a lot of movement through your hip socket. We want you to be able to get in this good mobility here where you're coming all the way up. So that could be an aspirational goal. All right, 10 more seconds. Good. And three two, and have a seat in this position. All right, whichever side you are um, leaning towards, let's just lean down and we're gonna move the whole time. We're gonna move down and up and then we'll just go to the other side. So just a quick coming down, nice and slow. If you can get down to your elbows, that's great. And then just come on back up, switching legs. And then coming down to that other side, moving the whole time, getting down to your elbows, and then right back up. All right, so glutes. Let's get into a glute position, a glute bridge position. We are going to do two things. If you wanna watch me, sorry, before you look away from the screen, we're gonna do start with just lift and lowers, and then we're gonna do a glute lift, which is when we have our one leg extended, knees are even, and then we'll lift and lower from that position. So let's start it out with just a plain old lift. These are not hard. Let's have our feet just about hip distance apart. And then let's lift and lower. Good, go ahead and do that a couple of times. I want you to really feel like you're squeezing through your glutes, not pushing up from your back. So hold up for as long as feels good. It might just be a couple seconds, or if it feels good and you're like getting a stretch through your quad, maybe five or six seconds, and then come on back down. Good. Let's just change our foot position. So our feet together, knees together, same thing, but we're squeezing. It should feel just a little bit different. Keep this going for 10 more seconds. Really squeeze at the top. Feel it in your glutes, they're waking up here. Excellent, all right, and let's glutes down, everything relaxed. We're gonna change to that glute raise position. So I want everyone's right leg extended, knees are even with each other, and let's go for it, lift and lower. Gonna lift and lower. 
So that right leg that's extended, the knee is always in line with the other knee. That leg moves around because it's attached to your hip, but you are not um, moving it up and down. So this is not a movement where you control that leg, that leg, you do control that leg, I should say, but by controlling it, you're just holding it still and it comes along for the ride. Good, switching sides, left leg extended. Here we go. Good. All right, when I'm exaggerating my breath, it's to remind you guys that I want you having deep breaths for these so that your body's relaxed, feeling like, okay, we got this. Good, there's five more seconds, get in a couple more and then stay in this position. Relax everybody, but now extend those feet out. So now we're in a hamstring raise position. So I want you to have your legs extended to the point where, let's say you have about eight or so inches between your knees and the floor. Then I want you to push your heels down into the ground and sort of towards your body. Your butt may come off the ground, maybe it doesn't. You might just push down, you feel it, your butt isn't fully off, that's okay. If you feel your hamstring, that's what we're looking for. So we're doing a lift and lower or a push and release. And if it feels great and you're like, oh, I got this, I'm gonna advance at this one, you can push and hold for the next 15 seconds, but there's 15 seconds more. Just want you isolating that hamstring and getting in that work. So we're here and lift and lower or push and release or just keep that hold for another three, two, nicely done. All right. So go ahead and get a drink. We are warm. So time for us to start our first set. So our first set is that balance set. We will need a little bit lighter weight. So we are doing two things that will be requiring lighter weight. So the first thing is that we are going to do an overhead lunge. So when we're doing an overhead lunge, whichever side first, this side feels better for me. So I'm just gonna show it here. So we'll have the weight up, then the other leg steps back and back. So this arm is up the whole time. So I want to make sure that this arm is in a great position, which means we do not have all this pressure on our wrist, but our wrist is, um, we have our knuckles up. So um, we'll have that one. And then the second one is a side lunge. So it might be the same weight, you can decide. So a side lunge, extend and back. And then we'll do the other sides. So get the weights you need. First things first is I want you to use the weight for an overhead lunge. So that might be 10 to 20 pounds, depending on what you can hold overhead and keep steady. All right, everybody get weights up. Glutes are tight, everything's tight, feeling really good here. Knuckles up, let's go. Step it back and down. Keeping your bicep and your ear are buddies this whole time. Good. So this is how to make it harder because this weight obviously would be wobbly if we're not in control bracing through our core. So we're gonna keep that bracing. Good. And three, two, go ahead and switch sides, go right into the other side once you've got your weight up. Good, let's do it. Good, if you feel yourself wobbling from side to side, well, after the first rep, you gotta get used to it, right? But if you feel yourself wobbling from side to side, you can't really control it. If you feel nervous having this weight above your head, then the weight's too heavy. All right. M, if you, since M's in a hotel room, doesn't have a weight, next time you can balance, oh my God, you have the iron, yes. <laughs> like you can balance something on your hand and use that as your uh, balance trick there. Three, two, all right. Next thing, we got those side lunges. So we're gonna hold that weight in this goblet position. So when we step over, we push out and come on back. Once you're ready, go ahead and join me. Step it over, 
iron out. <laughs> there you go. You can fill the iron with water and then there's consequences if it wobbles over your head. <laughs> All right. Good. If the weight is so heavy that you feel like you have to go beep, beep, then you might need to get something a little lighter or maybe just don't bring it out quite as far. Good. My weight looks big, but it's an adjustable kettlebell. So it's only 12 pounds and break. Go ahead and let's do the other side. Good. If this is giving you any weirdness in your knee, check your foot position. This should feel good if everything's in alignment. So making sure foot is facing forward and knee, butt, arms, eyes all line up. Good. All right. Strong posture here. That's whole set is balance and posture. Good. Three, two. All right. So for the second time through, we're going to add a knee drive into all of these. So what that means is when we do our back lunge, we'll come back up to a knee drive. And for our side, we'll have down up to a knee drive. All right, everybody ready? Overhead lunges. Get those weights up, knuckles facing the ceiling. Here we go. Come on down, don't forget your knee drive on the way up. Oh, mine was an unsuccessful knee drive there. Trying to get that knee driving up and then coming right back without touching in between. Nailed it on that one. Second try is a charm. All right. Good. And five more seconds. Get in one or two more. Three, two. All right. Everyone go ahead right into the other side. Let's do it. Knuckles up. Knee drive. Beautiful balance. Good. Don't let your arms start sagging down to here. Weight should not get any closer to your head. Should always be up towards the ceiling, really pushing that up. Good work. And three, two, all right. Awesome. All right, we've got those side lunges now. And we're going to add in the knee drive for this one as well, forcing us a little more balance. Here we go. Side lunge, press. When we come up, that's the knee drive. Good. Press. Good. That's it. Good balance. Ooh, giant bird flying by. Distracting. All right. Looking really good. Your balance is excellent on these. Look at what practice can do. And three, two, one. All right, other side. Good, come on up. Good reach. Knee drive. Nice. All right. I'm going stand up paddle boarding tomorrow. I haven't done that in a long time. So hopefully all this balance work pays off and I stay out of the drink. I will report back. <laughs> it's been a while. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully it will be not too windy on the river. And three, two, one. All right. All right. Time to get a drink and time to get the heavier weights. So put the put the water in the iron. Here we go. So for the first thing, we're gonna do squats. So I want us doing front racked squats. So you can do this either as a goblet. That's a front racked squat, right? We have the weight up front. Or you can use two weights 
and have them in that same position we warmed up with, where we're trying to get, instead of being here and resting against our chest, trying to get the weights out and holding up because this feels like a plank. So you can have two weights. You can have one weight. Again, if you're using it as a goblet here. Good morning, Molly. Are you going to be the squat weight? <laughs> All right, you can have it here instead of laying on your chest like that. All right, so everyone get ready for those. We'll do deadlifts and then some rows after, but I'll show you as we get there since everyone looks like they're ready for some squats. Molly's in hand. All right, thank you. we're on. Front rack. Come on down. Nicely done. All right, I know you guys can't all see the picture, but my sister has my niece in hand. She's nine and she is the squat. She is the weight. Excellent. Good work, Molly. Just laying there. That's all you have to do. 10 more seconds. Remember, exhale on the way up. Good. I am using this goblet position because that's what everyone else is doing. Three, two, good work. But of course, having two is just fine. It's harder, but also you have to have the right weights for that. All right, so I promised deadlifts were next. So we're gonna do those as a kickstand because then you can have a heavier weight. So this one, bring on the big guns, everybody. So weight back or foot back, but this is just for balance. You will have your weight in two hands because you got something heavy, or you can have one in each hand if that's what gets you to heavy. And then you're coming down, feel it in that hamstring and glute and come on back up, all right? So let's do it. Here we go. Come on down, hold down at the bottom for a second and then up to tall. Good, when you get down, that weight is at about your knee, hang on and then come on back up, keeping your shoulders back, excellent. Down, hold and back up. Good, our hamstrings will love us for this. We sit a lot. This kind of weight on there helps them elongate and get strong. Three, two, all right. Go right to the other side when you are ready. Good, don't rush through. All right, come on down. And right back up, awesome. All right. I have a couple athletes who are getting ready for some races that just got COVID. So hopefully everyone is being really careful. I know it's starting to feel like COVID is not a big deal anymore, but everyone's freaking getting it and it's ruining race plans. Three, two, one. So keep vigilant everyone so you don't have to cancel your race plan. All right, and I said one more thing with rows. So we are going to do braced rows. This whole set is about that front brace. So instead of doing planks, so this one we are going to do, so you can imagine like a bent over row, you know, you're just kind of hanging on to something and doing a row. This one, you're hanging on to yourself. You are the brace that so we are here. See how my shoulder is back. So I am using myself, holding that plank position. Good, that's what we're doing. All right, everyone get ready, you're on it. I see everyone's doing it, so let's go for it. Good use of the band, Em, good try. I think have it around your foot and pull it from your foot. Everyone's going for it. So if you're using a band, and we did bring band, coming here. So you're really feeling that in your whole core, your whole neck, everything's long, shoulders are back. Good. And three, two, switch sides. But first, stand up because you have to relax that position. I don't want you hurting your back. If this feels like, wow, that's a lot on my back, you can you know, use a hand, but if you don't need to, Let's go right to the other side and 
Go for it. Feel that ab position, feel that plank position. Go for it. Yes. Good. If you're feeling like, okay, I could get this weight that I'm using, I could do it. I mean, I'm using the 12 because I can talk better, but if you're using a weight that you feel like I could do this 20 more times afterwards, I want you to use something heavier. Five more seconds. Three, two, good work. All right. So we are going through that set two more times. So we're starting with the goblet squat, then back to deadlifts, and then those rows. So all of this, it's intense for our upper body here. I know it seems like it's a lot of leg work, but you might feel it up through your upper body. So make sure you're bracing well. And if it feels too heavy, go down and wait. Here we go. Squat. And back up. Good. All right. Back to the knees squats. That's good. She's like a damsel in distress over there. <laughs> Maybe she's just a damsel asleep. Good. Exhale on the way up. That will help you. So when you are lifting something really heavy, you can get that right up. Five more seconds. Three, two, good work. All right. Time for those deadlifts. If you're doing that kickstand and it feels like you don't have enough range of motion, you can absolutely come farther down. It is just a matter of balance. So when you have the heavier weights, it gets harder to balance. But if you don't have the heavier weight, you can absolutely get that leg up. That will help. All right. So pick up that weight. Here we go. Good. So I've got a lower weight. So instead of doing the kickstand, I'm getting that leg all the way back, working on balance all through that leg. But if you've got a real heavy weight, that's good. You can use that kickstand position up to you. All right. Good. Good modification M with the band. So yeah, you have it on up there. Good. And switch sides, switching sides. All right, go for it. All right, I'm trying to figure out a raspberry recipe or marionberry recipe. I mean, tonight for dinner, I think we're having raspberries and whipped cream, but if anyone has a good idea, send it my way. I know I could like put them in smoothies and I have plenty of things I could do, but they feel very special. And I have six pints, so that's like a pint a day before they go bad, <laughs> maybe. All right, we're getting close here. Just another five seconds. Good, done. All right, let's give ourselves a quick Break because we're gonna about we're about to be in that same braced position. You know we got this compound thing going on where we're doing the same muscle group twice. That's okay. All right, grab your row weight carefully. No hurting your back during workout, please. And then coming into a good row position, so your butt is sticking back, shoulders are back. Here we go. Good. If you someone's looking at you from the front, they do not see a wild arm happening thing. Everything is tight to your body, just like when we're running. So same, same. Good. 10 more seconds. And three, two, good. All right, let's give it 15 seconds here. Give yourself a little back break. 
All right, and everybody ready? Get your weights on. Let's go, hinge it over, brace, really brace. Maybe you guys are only like, we would rather have planks. Good. If you need to, you can brace with your hand. I was doing that. If you don't need to, the other hand can just be down. Or on your side or, I don't know, hanging loose feels weird. It seems like having it in a good ready position is the way to go. All right. And three, two, all right, sweet. Okay, one more time through it. So everyone grab a drink and then we're back to those goblet squats. If you've got to have your weight and your back is feeling all right and you are feeling strong, upgrade. So that's like Molly and the iron. All right. Everyone grab your weight with good form. Here we go. Good. Push up through your heels. Think about pushing up through your heels. Excellent work. Good. Imagine you are pushing the ground away. It helps you think about good foot mechanics instead of just this upper portion. When you think about when you're down here, if you push the ground away, see if that feels different through your glutes and even through your quads. Good, three, two, one. Nicely done. All right, deadlifts. Pick your weight. Making sure when you're moving weights in between these sets, we're doing a lot of back bracing here. I want you to make sure you're not hurting yourself by moving your weights with a poor body position. All right, kickstand or a full deadlift with your leg back up. Get the weight you want in hand, both hands. Here we go. Woo, balance. Third set, you think I'd have it at this point. All right. Good. Everyone is looking really strong and quite warm. Turns out summer activities. All right. Good. Come on back. All right. And shoulders stay back, everybody. When you're at the top, just focus on that for one second. And three, two, other side. Go ahead and switch. Good. Looking strong. This is the last time through on these. Hopefully you're feeling good. Good start to the end of the week. I'm feeling good about that. All right, 10 more seconds, everyone. Get in your last couple of these, make your form great. Feeling really good about all of your little stabilizer muscles and done. Okay, everyone have an honest conversation right now with how everything feels in your back and bracing. If you are feeling like, wow, my back is starting to get fatigued, then I want you bracing on something so you can use, you can get in a good workout without having to overdose on your back and have a sore back today. All right. Everyone have that honest conversation with yourself, please. All right. We were good. So let's go for it. Come on down. Here we go. Last thing here. Everyone push those hips back. Good. Really push them back. I know you'll feel it in your hamstrings. That's good. That's all right. We want that. We don't just isolate these muscles, but everything's working here. Even if you are hanging on to something, that's okay. You should still feel that through your hamstrings in a good position. 
and down. Give it a rest, 15 seconds, and then we're gonna go through on the other side. Then we will move on to our last set. All right, five seconds ago. All right, we're on, let's do it. 30 seconds, final 30 seconds here. Good. Good, everyone should feel like your abs feel the same exact way as if you were in a plank. That's the position we're looking for. Good, five more seconds. And done, done, done. All right. So of course, grab a drink of water. I'm gonna show you our final set. Our final set, we're going to go through four times. So this one, um, we are going to do a low, one low swing, two regular swings three cleans, and then a power plank. I'll show you what that is. So for those of you who are uncertain what I was talking about, the low swing, you just go from here, hike, and back. So with M, no weight. I want you to do the same thing. You're just in this low position. Hold. For the swings, you're going to do two swings. M, you can do two broad jumps. Same exact movement, right? That movement is with your hips. All right. And then for the cleans, and you can just do squats. But otherwise, clean, one, two. So you're coming from down here, up to here. Again, that front bracing. And then the power planks. So power plank, we only hold them for 15 seconds. It's a low plank. We did these in the gym. And I haven't done them at home because they're harder for me to evaluate. But I know that you guys are self-motivated enough to do it. So what you do is you get in a low plank position. And every muscle in your body, I mean, the muscles that are like around your ears even are working. So what it, you would imagine when you're in a plank, just hang out, I could come over to your house, you know, give you a little push and you'd fall over. A power plank is everything has tension. All the muscles have tension. And so if someone came over to your house and was kicking you, you would not fall over because everything is held strong. So because we're having every single muscle working, we can only do it for a short amount of time. So they're just 15 second planks, but they're intense. So I want you to make it as intense as possible. And we'll do this four times. So let's start with low swing. So everyone, I want you to make sure you are in good position for uh, the swings. We always start here, which means chest is above your butt, weight is out. Everybody ready in that position? Low swing, here we go, just one. Woo okay, now two swings, one, two. And then we put it right back down in that good position. Good. Then we drop it back between our legs because now we've got three cleans per side. So go for it when you're ready. Here we go. Here's one, two, and three. That's one side. Good. Other side is one two, and three. Now it's for those power planks. I'm not joining you because otherwise I cannot see the clock, but I want you to get in position first. Don't do all the squeezing until I say go, but then you're gonna be on. So everyone get into your position, good plank, holding it in three, two, power plank, go, go, go. Squeeze, super tight. So imagine someone walks into your house, they're just gonna push you from your hips, you are not going to budge for five more seconds. You are not going to budge. Hold it, hold it tight and break. All right, hopefully that felt hard and it's way more fun if someone can try and push you over. So later today, if you are around someone, you could be like, hey, party trick. So get into that position. Molly, this would be a fun game for you to do with your mom. You could push her over when she's in that plank, see if you can. All right, here we go. Ready for that low swing? So everyone get nice and low, don't go yet. Get your good position, butts down, chest is up, eyes out, arms ready. Here we go, hike, one, good. Now we're back into that swing position. Let's go for it, one, 
and two. Excellent. Then your weight needs to be between your feet for those cleans. Three on each side. When you're ready, let's go for it. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. You can also do jump squats if you wanted them. All right. And power plank time. All right. Molly, it's mom revenge if you want it. So we are getting started on this power plank. So everyone's in their low position. Getting started in three, two, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. I can't see all of you. Some of you are on the screen, but those of you I can see, I saw you rise just a little bit. That's it, exactly, because you're pushing away from the ground a little bit because your biceps are working, your everything is working. I mean, you can really feel it. Keep us holding, holding, holding for three, two. Nicely done. Good. You went from sort of a saggy, a little bit of a saggy back. No one was saggy, really saggy, but a little bit of a saggy back to. Good. All right. So two more times through. Let's go for it. All right. You can see everyone breathing. So I'm not doing those planks. So it's unfair. I did do them this morning as practice. All right. So let's get started. Get your weight in the right spot. Get into that single low swing position. Don't go yet. We're holding it for a second. Everybody ready? Butts down. Here we go. One. And then two swings or two broad jumps. One, two. And then bringing that weight down. So you are ready for those cleans and squats or squat jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, and three. Good power plank. Everyone get down. We are gonna start our power plank in five seconds. So get into their low plank. Power in now, power now, power it up. Really squeeze tight. So imagine I'm coming over there. I'm gonna push you, you know, gently, but maybe not quite so gently, but in your, in your thighs, right around your rib cage, on your hips. I'm really trying to wiggle you free but you will not be freed. Five more seconds, stay there and good. All right, just one more time. Okay, let's just get this thing done, right? So you know the drill, one low, two regular swings, three cleans and power planks. I'll start us, everyone get into your low swing position, holding. We're down in that hike, holding, and here we go. One low. Go right into it. Two full swings. One, two. Bring that weight back. Three cleans. Here we go. One, two, and three. Other side. When you are ready, one, two, and three, nice work. And now the final thing, the plank. Yes, okay, Molly's ready on it. Getting into position first. Hold on, she's not ready yet. We're gonna get you counting into it. We're starting the power plank in three, two, go for it. Hold tight, hold tight. Oh, Emily's winning. Molly's trying really hard. Yes, he's pushing, hold tight. Everything's tense. You're amazing. Three, two, <laughs> nicely done. All right, I'm declaring a winner. It's all of you guys versus the plank. And all of you had little imaginary Molly monsters on you and none of you gave in. So well done. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do a quick cool down. Everyone go ahead and just get onto your butt. Have a seat. Have a seat. All right, so we are just sitting with nice extended posture, getting in a couple deep breaths. 
Go ahead and open up your feet. So you can have, or open up your knees. So you can have your feet together. Open up your knees. And then you can push forward, however feels good. All right. And then go ahead and lay back, keeping those feet together. Should feel good opening up through your inner thighs here. We'll switch this to a figure four when you are ready. So go ahead. When you're ready, you can keep that lying down position, but getting into a figure four. So one uh, knee has one of your ankles. And you can give that leg a hug. Should feel a stretch through your glutes. And we're doing it lying down because we had plenty. You can switch when you're ready. We had plenty of work through our back. I want you to feel like your back is having all of the pressure off of it. And when you are laying in this position, it gets your hips into a neutral position. And it should feel really good on your back. If you have time this morning before you start the rat race, give yourself a little foam rolling time on your back. Otherwise, once you are done, you're done. If you want to say hi, please do.